I don't know about you, but for me, the same old sandwich, the same old breakfast just doesn't swing it anymore. I mean, I've had a cooking show now for four and a half years, and I made a lot of food, but man, when I came across this one, I had to share it with you because this is, this is a game changer in my opinion. All right, you see we got the bacon going. I thought I'd cook this up first. So I want that bacon grease at the bottom. I got three eggs, and I'm actually gonna scramble them for this, but the reason why is because I want to put some cheese over the top, and that way it holds it together for our sandwich. Three eggs. Down they go. Where it stops, no one knows. I know, I'm a dork. All right. Mix it up. Give it a good mix. Now I'm gonna add my grandpa's secret to it. That is just a touch of water. Not much at all. And no, it's not gonna make it runny. It's actually gonna make it a little more fluffier, but Oh, that's perfect. Let's check on our bacon. I got the bacon cooking at 280 degrees on here. Perfect. We're going to let that finish up. I do got some pancake mix that I'm going to be putting together. And then we're going to make this sandwich. It's a pancake sandwich. What more can you ask for, right? Ooh, I know what more we can ask for. Syrup. Got it over here. All right, let's let this bacon finish up and then we'll pour the eggs in here, cook them up, and continue on on this sandwich. The bacon's been cooking a little longer, probably about seven, eight minutes. Just gonna take it off for now. And I gotta remember, depending upon how long or what kind of bacon you like, you like it extra crispy, it means you gotta keep it on here longer. If not, if you don't like it as crispy, and which I don't, then don't keep it on as long. I'm gonna take this extra bacon put it into the pan that I'm going to be cooking our pancakes in. Now the key to eggs is making sure that, that pan is at the right heat. Now for cooking bacon it's too hot so I got to let this pan come down just a wee bit in temperature before we put these eggs in because the eggs are going to stick to that bottom if it's too hot. Put some in there, mix it around. And yeah, there's still some bacon grease left in here, which is perfect for me, because that's what I love to cook with. And now it's kind of just a game as to determine what temperature we want to cook these eggs at. As you can see, not really getting any residual sticking going on. The bottom of the pan is staying very clean, and that is because we let this pan come down temperature. I'm going to pour a little more in. When it comes, I'm wondering if maybe I came down a little too far when it comes to cooking the eggs. We'll see. I'm going to pump it up a little bit to about 260. I had it down to about 240. But boy, eggs are looking good so far. I'm not getting any sticking whatsoever on this. But also having the temperature lower than what we were cooking the bacon at also ensures that you're just going to get some seriously good flavor. No burnt flavor, that's for sure. Pump it up one to about 280. Pour the rest in. Awesome. The runniness of the egg, it's time to put a little bit of salt and pepper in there. And I always like to keep some salt and pepper around. This is two parts salt, yeah, two parts salt, one part pepper. And yeah, I'll just keep doing this till the eggs are done. Matter of fact, I'll see you when the eggs are done. <laughs> All right, well, it took us about two minutes from when we last saw it to, to now. Eggs are looking good. I'm going to turn the heat way down. 
because I want to put some cheese on top of these. Now, depending upon what cheese you want is what you put on here. For me, this is just, this stuff works just perfect. It's that American cheese comes in the wrap. Throw it on there like that. Cover them up for just a moment. Don't need to very long. But over in this pan, this is where we're going to be doing our pancakes in. So I want to start making our pancake mix. I'm going to use the same pan, or I'm going to use the same container that I did the eggs in. And this is calling for one cup of pancake mix. So you can make your own. Super easy. Calls for three quarters of a cup of water. Couldn't find my three quarters of a cup. So, but I did find my half cup. So one and a half of those. I'll check these real quick. Looks good. I'm gonna mix it up. Now I do have some extra water just in case I want to add a little more water to this mix. But just get in there. You wanna get all the lumps out. And the egg that's in the bottom of this is going to help us out a little bit too. That's looking pretty smooth right there. Let it sit for a moment. Check our eggs out. Starting to melt. We're almost done there. Alright, so I'm going to remove the eggs. Once that cheese melts, I'm going to heat this pan up and then we're going to make some pancakes. I'll see you then. Let's make our first pancake here. looks good in there starting to bubble a little bit on the top that's perfect that's exactly what I'm looking for make sure the bottom's not sticky awesome flip it looks good to me looks amazing really does all right we're gonna let this one finish remove it make another one all right move that off the side there Add a little bit more oil or grease to the pan. Get it around in there. Make ourselves another one. Let it sit in there, do its thing. It's just perfectly round right now. It's just slowly spread down. All right, I gotta be honest with you. I'm sitting here waiting, I'm looking at that other pancake. I'm thinking, that's calling my name, so, so I ate it, but that's okay. So we'll use this one. Perfect. Add a little bit more oil to this pan. Slide it around in there. We got enough to make another. Let's do it. And we got just enough to make one more if we need to. Now, this is all about perfection. I just want that perfect pancake. I can't rush it. These things just take a while. So I'm cooking right now at 280 degrees. This pancake is just doing its thing and that's what we're going to continue to do. See you when we flip it. We'll take a look at it. Go from there. Let's see ya. What do you think? Looks pretty dang good. Oh, that's okay. It flipped pretty well though, that looks really good. A little couple cuts at the top. Got that other one sitting in there. Once this one's done, I think we're gonna make that last one. Why not? Got enough for it. A couple minutes down. About oh, perfect. Put it underneath here. And add a little bit more bacon oil, grease to it, to the pan. Swirl it around. So we're gonna make this last one. Why not? Alright, let's take a look at this before. Looks good. Give it a little flip. Okay, about two and a half minutes down. Flip it. Looks great. Right, I'm gonna cut the power there. Take this off. 
put this back on. Voila, there's our goodies right there. Pancake on there. So, let's get our fine china out here. Start putting this bad boy together. I'm going to take that last one, put it down on the plate, put some bacon on there. Oh, heck yeah. Take some of our egg, put it on. See what I mean by you put that cheese on there? It just helps you with that egg, keep that egg all together. Now, I'm going to take a little bit of butter. I'm going to smear it. One of our pancakes. Right there. What is it? Well, how do we want to eat this thing? I'm telling you. I mean, pick it up just like this. Eat it like a sandwich. Mmm. Very good. Far on. I some eggs. We got a little bit of bacon in there. Wow, that's awesome. But I'm gonna try it with some syrup. Now I'm doing using some keto syrup just because it's all I could find. But it is maple flavored. All right. We go bite of this. Mmm. Spot on. It's actually really good. Yeah, even that maple syrup, pancake, eggs, bacon. Yeah, I'll take two of these to go. All right, you saw how we made it. The key to it is that pancake. Just make sure that's perfect. Take your time with it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Just wait till next week's episode. We've got more breakfast coming. All right, see you then. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.